Hey nerds, Amy here, and today we are going to learn the difference between comments and conversations within lists in Microsoft Teams. All right, let's nerd out. Comments are associated with each individual list item. So here we are within Teams, and if we hover over this little comment box, you'll see the ability to add a comment. From here, we can tag team members so that they will be notified. And this is where we can, you know, easily collaborate on this specific item. In this example, we are going to ask Amy if we have everything ready for Layla's upcoming stay. Here we are within Outlook, and because I tagged Amy, Amy has received an email. The email provides the comment as well as indicates the list item and the list that we are associated with. So if we go to the comment and go, thank you, Amy, it is very important that you tag your team member, otherwise they will not be notified. Here we are within the list, within the Teams channel, and if I hover over Layla, we will see that this comment box has actually changed and it's showing that there are two comments. When I click on it, we can see that these comments have followed this item and they will be available for anybody within the team that has access to view these. So you can easily track comments and questions about a line item and quickly refer back to them. If I open up the list in SharePoint, then we will see once again that these comments have followed the list item and can be accessed from SharePoint or the list within Teams. Contrary to comments that are related to the specific item, conversations are broader and about the list as a whole. So from this item, I can access conversations on the top right. And once again, we can tag people or groups. So in this instance, I want to tag the reservations channel and say that I have created a new list. Now we can go to posts within the Teams channel and you'll see that that conversation is now showing up here. So this is where the team can now collaborate and respond um, about the specific channel. Back in the list, if I go to the conversations area again, then we will see that response. So this just demonstrates that conversations are on a broader scale. If we open up the list within SharePoint and click on Charles, we will notice that there is no conversations tab at the top here. So conversations is for that broader team collaboration on the list as a whole. All right, so that wraps up this video and I do hope that I have helped you discover your inner nerd today. If you haven't already, then please give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Please also feel free to pop any questions in the comments below. All right, thanks for nerding out. We'll see you again.